Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. We're here with a love reading. A Celtic cross spread about your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions that they may take in this relationship. Focus solely on them and possibly your reactions and interactions will show up. At the bottom of the deck, two of cups, your person is in love. But it does look like there's a chance that you've walked away from them. They want a victory. They want to come out of... They want to come out of the cold. Okay, so let's see what we have here for this Celtic cross. So in their energy right now, they are feeling very lost without you. They have gone to, quote unquote, the man cave, the woman cave. They are seeking answers. Virgo energy, hermit energy, it's seeking enlightenment, trying to figure out what to do, what to say, what a plan is. Virgo is the problem solver of the zodiac. It's a very spiritual card. Nine of Pentacles, more Virgo energy. They really feel, Aquarius, that you are somebody who is highly desirable, highly attractive, that at the end of the day, you are the person that they would like to have in their life. They are in love with you with the Two of Cups energy. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy. They feel as though you may have made a decision to cut them out of your life. The Queen of Swords also tells me that they are very practical. Your person wants a relationship that's very happy. They want what they want, and they don't want to settle for less either. The Page of Cups really tells us that in the past, whatever love this person offered you was page love a crush a sweetness really sweet energy but when pigs fly they can date the nine of pentacles okay they can you can't date the queen or the nine of pentacles when you're a page so your person there may be an age difference for some of you the crowning energy is they want absolutely aquarius there you are in your reading they want a new beginning with you that's enlightened the reason this is Aquarius energy is because we see the spiritual element of Aquarius that is enlightened, that you want to be friends and lovers, that you want things done a certain way, um, that they have to bring their whole self to the table with you. In the near future, the judgment card, woo, they feel as though they have to release something. So it does look like you may have already cut them out or that you've released them. That's the energy that's coming in because they want a new opportunity. But when we clarify, we're going to see what they need to release to be able to come into the energy of love with you, okay? Currently, right now, we have the Hierophant. So your person, you could be, for some of you, you're in a relationship with this marriage, with this person. And they feel as though you may be heading separate ways. That's a different storyline. There's a couple of storylines that I see. So for some of you, you're living with this person you in a quasi either marital or marriage-like relationship. The Two of Cups really speaks to domestic harmony. But that judgment card says that your person is really worried. It looks like there's been some fighting, some a little bit of energy here that says that Aquarius, your person feels as though they might owe you an apology. The Hierophant card is really your belief systems might be very traditional or their real belief systems might be more traditional. You may have a really big difference in the way you think about things, your philosophies. The Three of Swords, though, energy, we never like to see that. It shows that basically that there could be a third party involved here that's a secret or a secret that was discovered. The King of Pentacles energy says that your person wants you. Taurus energy does not give up on relationships. Taurus energy is about being loyal, being faithful, being passionate, and grounding, uh, being so grounded that they can come back in and have a do-over with you. With Taurus energy, Taurus energy, very powerful energy. So we're going to have to look and see what's going on here because they clearly love you. They clearly want you. They clearly want a new beginning. But we have a lot of problems here with that Three of Swords judgment and Five of Swords. So for some of you, this person could be married to someone else. For some of you, this might be both of you are married to other people. And that's bringing this Page of Cups energy like, well, we're already in relationships and I'm not going to change. So now what? But let's look. Okay, so why do we have the Hermit energy here for you, Aquarius? 
Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles matches the King of Pentacles. So nobody's going to be rash here. I don't see your person being rash. They feel as though the two of you are a match set, that you're very good together, that you are a divine match. Oh, look at this, the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups energy is uh, Two of Cups. Look at that. The Two of Cups, Cups is replacing or clarifying the page energy. So one of you also may want children in the relationship. That could be an obstacle for some. The other person may not want it. They may not want to be tied down. I see a very beautiful love affair here. But let's see why we have the Two of Cups here for them. The High Priestess, they have not told you just how much they love you. Your person is very much, look at that, Two of Cups, Two of Cups. The Queen of Wands is clarifying the energy of the Queen of Swords. So what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius, is your person has a lot of fire in their belly. They could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Cancerian. But what we're seeing here is somebody who really wants to make this work. The new beginning that they want with you, why do they want that new beginning? Let's see what we have. The Empress card, they want to level up. You are their Empress. They see the Two of Wands. It's time to go to the next level. So your person really feels it's time to make some pretty big decisions. That if the two of you are not on the same page in terms of long-term goals, if you want different things, then there may not be a wise choice to make about this relationship. But all these cards just fell out. So I'm going to do a mini reading here. King of Wands, this person wants victory. Hermit card, it looks like they may be on a Leo Virgo cusp. The Ten of Coins, they want a legacy marriage. They want to move quickly toward it. They want to tell you their truth. But the Seven of Swords says that they think that there's something inherently unfair, that there's something about a posting on social media that makes them think that you may want life without them. So we get this Magician card. They're really trying to manifest you, but... We're really seeing them wondering if they are good enough for you. So Aquarius, let's see why we have Judgment, Page of Wands. Okay, so what's being released here is caution. You're throwing caution to the winds. So your person, Aquarius, is going to be all in on the relationship. They're going to try to just give up the sort of lightweight ideas. They need to level up. And that's what they're letting go of. They're going to jump into the fray. They want this new beginning. They're throwing caution to the winds. They probably want marriage with you. The two of coins says that you may or may not be on board with the idea of marriage. The two of coins also says that they don't know that you might change your mind. You may. They know what they want. They know what they want with you, but they don't think that you necessarily want the same thing. The Five of Swords indicates some sort of fight or battle. The Moon card says that right now there's kind of a quiet argument going on beneath the surface. It feels like there's a lot of tension in the air. It feels as though there's some sort of heartbreak looming. That's how your person feels, Aquarius. They feel like... You just may not choose them, but they are your lover. They are your soulmate. So they are very much wanting this to work. Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, so what is the outcome for Aquarius? What is the decision here? We have the Seven of Cups and the, the Two... Okay, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that your person wants a very stable, happy relationship with you. They want to level up. But what I'm seeing is that Aquarius, for most of you, I feel you know your person loves you. You know that they're in it to win it. You're in it to win it. But it looks like you're very career focused and you're not really in the thought or the energy of wanting to make a final decision. It looks like you're so caught up in your life right now that the status quo is okay with you that you don't want to make a final decision and you don't know with any certainty whether this person is going to be the one for you. You're the one for them, but they do not know if it's vice versa. So I'm going to look at the Moonology deck and see what the Moonology deck is recommending for you. It really looks as though, Aquarius, that you're the one who will make the final decision 
and the decision is not to decide. You're going to stay. You're, you're like in a holding pattern. Have you ever been on a flight where you've been in a holding pattern? Well, there's a storm over Chicago, so we're going to take you up to Milwaukee, and we're going to circle there and see what happens. A win-win outcome is forecast. Beautiful. Look at that. So you're going to win by not deciding. You don't have to make a decision right now. It looks as though you're going to let this person level up. You're going to see what they're capable of. You're going to see if they step to the to the table, you know, and really put themselves on the line for this relationship. You want them to be all in or else you're all out. Beginner's mind. There you go. Beautiful. A new beginning. That's that Aquarius fool energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Dances on one foot, a balancing act. So the balancing act is really all about balancing career and love and family and goals and all of that. It looks like a really beautiful relationship and you're just kind of really okay with the fact that final decisions have not been made. You're going to let the universe step in and help you make a final judgment when the time is right. You don't see the time as being right right now. So there you go. Aquarius, nice reading for you. Take care. Thank you so much for watching.